Good day guys, welcome to today's lesson on Start Pro Connect Edition. Today we are going to learn what steel utilization ratio means in steel design using Start Pro Connect Edition. So in this video, I'm going to use a simple roof truss to explain it. So the first thing I'll do is create a node at the origin. Okay, so select my node cursor, highlight this node, then translational repeat in the x direction 1.5, that's my default spacing. The number of step I want to use nine to link. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is translational repeat also in the y direction. That is this origin node. The height 0.6 link step in the y direction. Then okay. Similar with this, this node translational repeat in the y direction. Default spacing. 1.8 number of step just one then link step okay so the next thing i'll do is add beam okay so after adding beam i'm going to raise this node because i want to split this node uniformly so i go to my front view select my node cursor i want to select my node cursor from this point so i like these nodes translational repeat in the y direction so any height is permitted for now okay so you can see it has gone up then the next thing i'll do now is highlight intersecting beams then i will intersect selecting beams okay so to break this okay so i'm going to delete these top nodes okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to assign bracings okay Presses. so ties and struts ties is for tension strut is for compression then another secret to truss modeling is you make sure you arrange your ties and truss in the way that it will make most of your roof truss members in tension and we all know that steel is good in we know steel is good in tension and not very good in compression because in compression it can buckle easily so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to assign a steel section probably 70 by 70 by 6 so the next thing i'll do is i'll select this section database okay so it's taking a little while for it to load now i'll go to the british section angle section and i'll select 70 by 70 by 6 now this is single section i can decide to do back to back double angle but for this video, I just want to use this because I want it purposely to fill to explain some things to you. So add. So I can use cursor to assign. I can assign individually as much as I want. But what I'll just do is select these beams, or I can assign it to view, then assign to selected beams. Okay. So assign selected beams. So the next thing I'm going to do now is my specifications. So beam specification, truss, add. So you can decide to release moments at the end. Release moments here, release moments, release moments here, release moment. Also for this. But I just want to use this truss specification. So I'll select this. Okay. Okay. Select this. The diagonal members. Okay. So and I can also select this. So assign to selected beams. Assign yes. Okay. Then the next thing is support. So it's going to be a pinned support. So create support. Use cursor to assign. Assign. So you can see I've assigned my truss specification. So I'm going to change this from space to truss. So I go to my command file. Yes. Then open my command file and change it from start space start truss because so, i'm going to be working on the truss model okay so close okay so i'm waiting for it to open so for now we have no error so from there i'm going to mirror this so view go to the front view and close this geometry then highlight it then you can see this mirror so I'll select it now i'm in the 
I want to mirror against the YZ plane. So I'll select the YZ plane and select the node I want to mirror against. So this is the, as my reference node. You know, the, so I've mirrored this already. So it's going to select the properties. So you can see the properties, the material steel, specification, all gone, then the support also. So I also have the loading. Now in this case, I'm going to create just one loading. So add close. Add. So no download. I'm just going to assume a load of minus seven kilo newton. Just it's just an assumption. Okay, then use cursor to assign. So assign, 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 and assign. So the next thing I'll go to is my analysis. Define command, just normal regular analysis. Yes. Then go to the design. So I'm choosing steel design and I'm using your code three. So whatever code you're interested in using, you can select that. So my parameters, I'm only interested in the grid of steel and the track two. So I'll just go to um okay and the national annex, yes. Grid of steel and track two. Okay. So define parameters national annex i want to use the uk national annex add then the sgr i want to use 275 add then the track i want track two in case if i want a detailed result or if i want the summary i can choose whatever i want add close so sgr assigned to view then track two assigned to view okay then the next thing i'll do is run the analysis now you can see run cloud analysis and down results this is because i'm using um start version 22 update 5 so that is what i have so in this case i have 0 error 0 1 and 0 nodes so i'll go back to my modeling mode then check code i just want to check code so command check code add close and assign to view i want to check the code for what i selected assign to view so run the analysis you can also um, put your check code immediately after you do your track two instead of running analysis first, which was a mistake I made. So I'll go to my post processing mode, then done. This is the load I'm interested in. Then what I'll do is go to my utilization ratio. So I can see many beams, sorry, many members failing. I can see this red, and I can see green, I can see blue. Now, what green means is these are ratios. Now, green means from zero to 0.99 that is green then blue means from 1 to 1.5 then red means 1.5 and above so that is why they are failing now so let me explain what utilization ratio is because you are going to see the ratio here so for example let me use this member now once i click this this is beam number 35 which is also selected here beam number 35 I can see my actual ratio here. So this is a clause is using to design. This is clause Euro code 3 um, clause 6.2.3. So it's telling you it's tension. So once I click it now, you can see I will see the force on it and it will be negative. That is tension. So sorry, positive rather. If um to check if it's positive or negative, you can come here, click this beam, that is beam number 35, maximum maximum load. So you can see it's negative, that is why it's tension. Well, in this case, I'm just on the utilization ratio. So, beam number 35. And I can see my utilization ratio is 0 0.041. So, once I click it, I'll come here. Now, I can see my axial load on it, 9 point, approximately 9.1 tension. So, for this property I selected, these are the design capacities. So, the compression capacity is 56.2. And the tension capacity is 223.6. So to get this utilization ratio, it will be Fx tension divided by this Pt tension. So let me bring out my calculator. You can also use calculator on start. But let me bring out this calculator. So I have um, 9.0923. Divided by two two three point six. So that is this zero point. So that's how they got this value. Now you can see this critical. So this is a critical clause they used to design it. Euro code three 
plus 6.2.3 so this is my euro code 3 so i'll look for 6.2.3 so i'll look for 6.2.3 okay okay so it's very close and close getting closer to the close six point sorry let me check it six point two point three okay okay attention so six point two point three so i can see it okay so now it's telling you that the design value that is your tension force divided by the tension capacity should always be less than 1.0 that what is telling you so that is why we are that's how we get our utilization ratio now let's look for compression members okay so look for compression members so i'm sure this is compression i'm 100 percent sure it is compression or well, i can also check here coming to beam results maximum axial force and look for any positive one so anyone that is positive is compression so that is beam number one so i can see beam number one so I'll double click it, come here, and I can see compression. So I can see it is failing, but it's within the range of 1 to 1.5. So it's still manageable, but it's better for it to be less than 1. So what I'll do now is this FX divided by this 99.4. Okay, so 101.907845 divided by. 99.4 so that's i got 1.12 is i got this value yes so you can also check your clause 6.3.1.1 so 6.3.1.1 that will be for buckling resistance buckling resistance 6.3.11 Okay, sorry, past it. Okay, so you can see it. Uniform members for compression, so it's buckling because you remember initially in the video I told you that steel is not really good in compression because it's a buckle, so I'm checking for buckling resistance. So that is and it must not be more than one so you can see this so thank you for watching today's video on start pro connect edition please if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section thank you very much